The heart. Where's my pack in that? It's not here either. I think my head's got a screw loose. Oh! Tom Thomas, why are you throwing your stuff around? Oh, because I got a real problem. What is it? I can't decide which club I should pick. Johnny signed up for robotics, and Katya's gonna be in chess. You call that a problem? Go with Johnny. And why not Katya? <laughs> then go with chess. But they don't have robots. My mom told me I should listen to my heart. Do you know how to do that? <laughs> I found it! See you. Gotta go. Nolik. Simka can tell you. She knows everything. The heart is the main pump of a living organism. It's a unique muscular organ with a multitude of blood vessels attached to it. The main function of the heart is to continuously move blood throughout the body. The human heart pumps about six liters of blood every minute, even though this pump is not that large. Make a fist. Your heart is about the same size as that. To make sure your heart stays healthy, you need to strengthen it with plenty of exercise and a healthy diet. Nolik, please come help me. Why me? Tool is stronger. Huh? Interesting. And do you know what is meant by the word heartlessness? Well, I think it's, uh, some kind of human illness. May I? Tula. Heartlessness is when a human or a fixie leaves someone who has a problem behind. Uh, uh, huh? I... Yeah. Thank you very much, young man. Uh, I mean, young Fixie. Heartlessness, does it last forever? Of course not. We just need to help one another more often. Uh huh. Uh, uh. Ah! Tom Thomas, my friend. Here I am. How are you? How am I? Why do you care? Oh, by the way, I found out how you can listen to your heart. You need this tube. It's called a stethoscope. A stethoscope, but I don't have one. That's what I'm for. <laughs> the thing is way too tiny. Hmm. Ah, your mom must have one. Oh, yeah. Well? It's beating. Loudly. And what is it saying to you? Not a word. And now? It's beating. <laughs> huh? What was that? <laughs> this is just absurd. A heart can't talk. You know what? Why don't you just try again? Tom Thomas. <gasps> Who is that? It's your heart talking. Boom, boom. Can you hear me? Uh-huh. I believe that robotics is right for you. Uh... And what about chess? Who cares about chess? Robots are way cooler. This voice reminds me of someone. Heh, so that's what you look like, my itty bitty heart. Well, I did it from the bottom of my heart. When a human is at rest, his heart beats between 60 and 100 times per minute. This rhythm is called the pulse rate. Place two fingers on your wrist or your neck. Can you hear it? Boom, 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 boom. You can count the beats. When you're sleeping, your pulse slows down. But when you get excited, run, or get worried or afraid, your heart begins to beat faster and pumps the blood harder. Sometimes it feels like it's beating so fast that people say, oh, my heart is going to jump out of my chest. But don't be afraid, it's not going anywhere. And when people say, listen to your heart, they don't mean that your heart can talk. It means that you should trust yourself and listen to your feelings. And then you'll definitely find the answer you're looking for. Looks like at the end of the day, I'm heartless. I couldn't help my friend at all. Nolik, 
But you helped. You really did. I finally figured out which club I want to join. Robotics, like I told you? Not that. I want to learn medicine. The jewel. Tom Thomas, it's time to eat. Where did it go? Chusaka. Did you see this tiny little... I can't believe now I'm asking a dog. Tom Thomas, are you looking for us? Hey, Fixies, maybe you can help me. One of these stones is missing. And so? And so, this pin is very valuable. And so's the stone. If I don't find the stone soon, it's going to be the end. Honey, your lunch is getting cold. There's no reason to panic. Your precious stone will be found. Wait a sec. Can stones really be precious? Of course they can. Gemstones are the most rare and beautiful of all stones. But it's not easy to find them. Diamonds, emeralds, rubies, sapphires. People find them underground and inside of mountains. Brave divers go to the bottom of the sea to find pearls. People have performed heroic acts and committed daring crimes to get these precious jewels. The magical shine of gems can both enchant and ruin. Remember, only gems acquired honestly bring happiness. I can't find it anywhere. Maybe Chusaka took it. She saw that it was valuable and hung. You're right. Chusaka, give us back the gem, all right? Give it back, we said. Why are you making Chusaka angry? Because she has to give the stone back. What stone, Simka? One that calls a ton. Dogs are supposed to keep treasure safe, but this one eats them. Maybe you didn't look carefully. For example, did you check inside that, that flower pot? pot. <laughs> the sticking's just a waste. How could it end up in here? Because I know this is where we left it. Oh, is that so? All right, spit it out. <gasps> look at this. A diamond. This will look absolutely perfect on my back mat But I was the one that found it. It will look perfect on mine, too. Let's bring our pack mats and try it on them. We'll put it here for safekeeping. Well, who could have taken it? <laughs> we still need to check inside of Chusaka. <laughs> you gotta be joking. She'll eat you up. <gasps> Huh? Inside Chusaka to get the stone out. No, like, don't, please. Oh. <laughs> I'm ready to do anything my friend needs me to. Huh? By any chance, are you looking for this? Huh? <gasps> Where in the world did you find it? I found a buried diamond. It looks like a diamond, but to be sure, we'll have to conduct a test. A raw diamond looks like an ordinary stone. But after cutting and polishing each of its facets, that special stone transforms into a rare and very expensive jewel that can adorn a necklace, a crown, or a museum's display case. The truth is, only a small part of all found diamonds is used for jewelry. It's because a diamond is also the hardest rock on the planet. That makes it perfect for cutting glass. Diamonds are used in making strong drill bits and cutting blades. Many important medical instruments could not be made without them. With the help of diamonds, it's even possible to drill through a mountain when building a tunnel. That's just how valuable diamonds are. They can cut a pipe and go well with a dress. Isn't it pretty? Only it's not a... Tom Thomas! We found a stone! Oh, oh. And now it's gone. <sighs> Chusaka did great! Oi, oi. Thanks so much, Fixies! I was sure my precious present was gone. 
Katia, I think she'll like it. Now, I've got to tell you, Tom Thomas, that's not a precious stone. You got nothing but glass there. I know. But it doesn't matter. What? I was risking my life for the sake of a piece of glass? First, it was for the sake of your friend. And second, the cost of the gift doesn't matter. It's only the thought that counts. The Masquerade. So, Tom Thomas, did you choose a costume for the New Year's party? Not yet. These are no good. I've been a pirate. How about a vampire? Did that. And a knight? Mm-hmm. This year, I... I want to do something that's original. And what if... I know what! You can go dressed as me! As Nolik! Perfect! No one's ever gone as a fixie. Ever! Long, long ago, people would put on masks and dance in order to scare away evil spirits. In ancient theater, actors would change masks to play a few different roles. Everyone liked the idea of hiding their faces behind mysterious masks so much that people started organizing fun outdoor festivals called masquerades. There are countries around the world, like Brazil and Italy, that turn into one big masquerade ball during the holidays. Hey there, what are you making? A costume for a masquerade! Can you guess who I'm going as? Yeah, but why does it have to be Nolik? Because I came up with it! Fire'd be a much cooler costume! <laughs> That's not true! Stop arguing! I can go dress up as you and you! Now we're talking! <clears throat> Smart fixies wear glasses. <laughs> Your glasses are too small to even fit on his finger. Then I'll make glasses just like yours. What a cute fixie. Splendid. Not bad. Only if I were you, I'd add a backpack to your costume. Any fixie who's fashionable is wearing it. And maybe add my curls to it, please? Uh... If you don't, then our feelings will be hurt. Class! Did we cover everybody? Oh, we didn't include Simka! <gasps> and where are we gonna find room for her? What can I do about it? I already gotta get going. Then let's just not tell her. See you later, Tom Thomas. Thanks, guys. Tish! What have you been doing all this time while I was busy loading up the confetti? Uh, we were doing our homework. And looking at this magazine? And talking? Yeah, all of that and more. <laughs> That's gotta be the worst lying ever. Tell me what you're hiding. Have you lost your mind? Sorry, but there was absolutely no room left on Tom Thomas. That's not what I'm talking about. What is the number one rule for fixies? Well, what did we promise? We, we won't, won't let out our secret. secret. Right, but you just let it out. Now everyone will know. Tom Thomas wouldn't tell anyone about us. I hope he doesn't. Well, maybe. Everyone will figure that he's dressed up like some nutty candy. What kind of nutty candy has a backpack on and glasses? We're in real trouble. I thought the glasses looked sharp. So what are we going to do now? Call the professor, right? Or we should call Grampus or Papus. Ah! Don't panic. Let's wait till Tom Thomas gets back. There are many different types of masks, and some of them are very important. Medical masks are used by both doctors and sick people to reduce the spread of illnesses. Oxygen masks help people breathe. Fencers, hockey goalies, and boxers all use masks to protect their faces from being hit. The blue glass in a welder's mask is used to protect their eyes from dangerously bright light. Sea divers wear masks for swimming underwater. Without a mask, it would be very difficult to see the beauty of the underwater world. The masks that people wear at carnivals and parties? Well, they're just for having fun and putting everyone in a good mood. Or as a disguise, so that no one recognizes you right away. It can be a lot of fun to fool somebody like that.
So how was it? It was great! They had a contest for costumes, and I won! Hooray! That's all. Say bye to us. <sighs> I hope you won't be upset, guys. But I couldn't tell anyone that I was a fixie. Here's all I could think of. Grand prize for best costume, robotic toucan! Hey, come on! Do you think we look like toucans? Yeah? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> All right there, fixie toucans. We've got work to do. Oops. Happy New Year. <laughs>